Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how can you save embeddings and database. It means you are persisting your embeddings and need not to rerun or create them every time whenever you are running your application. So here we are using OpenAI, Langchain, Pinecone and Python as a programming language. So if you are not sure what Pinecone is, you can go ahead and refer its documentation. But with respect to Langchain, how to use it, it is provided over here. The brief summary is given. So you can go ahead and read this at langchain.readthedocs.io. So very first thing you need is you need to install the Pinecone client before you get started with this database. Okay, so let me quickly go ahead and write few lines of code. And before writing, I want to show you that I have created a folder which contains four text files. So what we are going to do here is we will be reading these four text files. We'll generate the embeddings of these and then push it on to our vector database which is pinecone. So let's get started. So very first thing is we need to import directory loader because we want to read the directory. So langchain dot document loaders import directory loader. Then we need to split the text because we do not want to face that token limit issue. So we want to split it into fixed number of chunks so that we can process it easily. So let's go ahead and say langchain dot text splitter import character splitter. So this is the code which you must have al already seen in my previous videos. So there is nothing much uh, which I need to explain again. But I will brief you what we are doing. Okay, then I am saying loader which is loading the directory and the directory like I mentioned we are going to put everything in the stored directory so let's load the directory and get the list of documents out of it so loader dot load and then we need to call the character splitter so we will say I will create an object character char text and let's say splitter and we'll simply call it character text splitter in which we will define the chunk size. So let's go ahead with 1000 as a chunk size and chunk overlap we can just say 0. It's okay to miss some information in this case. But if you do not want to miss anything, make sure to define some valid values in for the chunk overlap. And then I will say doc text character text splitter dot split documents and inside that I will be passing this. Okay, so we are done with our uh, splitting. So let me quickly run this first. Okay, and I can show you what is this doc text. Okay, so initially uh, when I saw you, uh, when I talked about it we were having four documents okay but after splitting we you can see that now we are having more than four because single document should not exceed more than thousand so that's the reason it distributes all these into these many number of documents okay now we have the documents and how it broke this you can see here so if I will open the very first document you can see uh, it is starting with homelessness and all then second document is affect on them so there should be something in this let me quickly find that word so affect word would be the from here so from here it starts the second document so this is the first document and affects on them they will only touch upon so this is the second document so that's how it is breaking the documents once we are done with this character splitting Next thing we need to do is we need to have database ready. So database, like I said, we need the pinecone. So I have already installed it, so I'm not installing that again, but let's go ahead and import the required modules. So from langchain.vectorstore, we are going to import pinecone. And we also need OpenAI embeddings, which is again present in langchain. So let's go ahead and import that to OpenAI embeddings and at the end we need pinecone. Okay, so we are done with all these things. Next thing is we need some embedding model, which model we are going to use. 
So for that, you can go to documentation, I think here, okay. So here, the, this is the documentation provided by the OpenAI. On the left hand side, you can click on embeddings and you will get all these options. So if you are going with this particular model, text embedding error 002, then uh, you can you can have output dimensions for 1536. So let's go ahead and use this particular model. Here, so I would say embedding model equal to text embedding error 002 and then we need to create OpenAI embeddings. So for that I will say OpenAI key and I have already grabbed the key so I am not going to type it here. Okay, I need to import my configuration as well. Okay, configuration is imported and then we can so if you are not sure from where to grab this key I can quickly tell you go to OpenAI login and then on the left hand side you can see view or API key so just click on that and you will get your key over here so this is what you need to copy it once you grab the key you need to create the embedding objects embeddings object and run it Okay, let's go ahead and initialize our pine cone. So I would initialize the pine cone and to initialize the pine cone we have an init function which will take few parameters as you can see in the intelligence also. So the first one it will take is the API key. Now before providing the let me first type it here API key is equal to something. And then we also need environment, oh, comma, and here we will say environment equal this. Now I can show you how to get started with pine cone. So let's go here, and you can go to this particular URL app dot pine dot io. Go there, log in there, and you will see a screen something like this. So the very first thing we need to do here is we need to create an index. So this thing you can do it using Python code also, but this is the e I feel this is much easier to understand what we are doing. And here we need to define the name of the index. So let's say uh, I will take something related to my text. So cause effect homelessness okay let me grab it we may need it and coming on to the dimensions so dimensions you can see here we go back to documentation and for this particular embedding this is the dimension we need to take so i will just go ahead and write 1536 and i'm going with the cosine and here there are three things you can choose whatever you want i'm going with this one and create index it will go ahead and create the index so it, you can see it is initializing meanwhile i will grab this particular thing which is environment and place it here similarly i need to grab api key for keys you can go here and this is the key that you need to grab so I will quickly copy this and paste it over here okay so once this thing is done we are good with our database initialization and let me give some name to this so index we can say index name equal to oops so index name should be the same as what we have given over here so I will grab this one and paste it here. Oops. Okay, let me see why it is not copying. Otherwise, I can type it cause effect homelessness. Cause effect homelessness. Let's review it. 
okay so we are done with this now if i will go ahead and run this it executed successfully let's go back to this one so this is ready and here uh, it's gonna take few seconds and then you should be able to see something over here so let me refresh this zero vectors so let's give it few more seconds meanwhile we can do some more uh, pending things and once this is done you can you also have a privilege to verify uh, like the statistics of your index and that you can do it using index pinecone dot index and inside that we need to pass the index name which we just created above and simply say index dot describe index stats so before that let's try this one okay so you can see that uh, dimension is 1536 and right now there are no vector counts because we haven't pushed anything which is perfectly all right so now we are going to push some data in it so in order to push the data we will be creating a new code cell here and i will simply say doc store pinecone dot from text and in this what I, I will be passing three different parameters the first parameter is the list of all the documents uh, the content of all the documents then we need to pass the embeddings and the index name so the very first thing we will be passing is our content of all the pages all the documents I would say so page content for D in doc texts and then we need to pass embeddings which we created above and then comes the index name which is the one we created here okay let me run it now okay it is successful now we should be able to see some vectors in our database give it few seconds now okay so you can see nine vectors here and the reason why you are seeing nine is see you can see here also is nine and the reason why we are seeing nine here is because there are nine documents over here so for each document you will see one single vector so that's how you can save your embedded data into the database embeddings into your database so i hope this makes sense and so going forward whenever you want to read the document and query you need not to repeat the entire process what we have done till now you can simply go ahead and read it from this fine cone and just fire your queries so right now we have this doc store so we can definitely give a try to one thing so let's say we want to query something what are the effects of homeless what are the effects of homelessness this is the query i want to perform and i'm looking for some answer from those documents okay and then we will say docs equal to doc store the object which we just created above because it is holding everything related to that and we will be doing similarity search so what we are saying is we are saying get us all the documents which are similar for this query which can answer me this particular question so that's why we are calling it similarity search and let's say docs so when you will say docs it means these are the five documents which can answer your this particular question so that's what we are doing here so going forward you need not to like uh, I mean the system need not to go through all the documents like 10, 12, 100, whatever you have. Rather, it will just get you the answer from these five documents based on the cosine similarity which we have used. Now, next thing uh, I can show you is, and the same thing, let's say you want to run this query. Now, you are not interested in what all documents, you just want the answer of your question. So, what you can do is, 
you can import question answering from the lang chain so lang chain dot chains dot question sorry question answering and here we will say import load qa chain and inside this we can create llm object we can like similar way how we have done earlier we will just pass these mandatory parameters configuration dot open ai key and then we can create an object of qa chain because that's what we are going to call load qa chain which will take parameters like chain type and the language model so let's go with stuff because now we have very limited document to stuff and once this is done we can go ahead and call our query so let me grab this line here and we will say qa underscore chain dot run and here we will say my input documents input documents are docs and the question here is query let's try this one and see perhaps i need to import something let's see okay so we got our answer and it is saying the effects of homelessness include death reduce life expectancy, health problems and all these. So these are the things which are coming directly from the document. So I have just shown you how to do it, but actually you will not be using this particular method because we want to query our index rather than going and querying like this. So that part I will be covering in my upcoming videos. But I hope you find this particular content useful wherein, wherein we saved our embeddings into the Pinecone database. So thanks for watching.